when you talk about a category of the enthusiast, by definition, you're wanting somebody who is enthusiastic. And it was absolutely no doubt in my mind, Warren was enthusiastic about Corvette more than most people. Uh, he made it his livelihood. He made it his lifestyle. And uh, he just lived and breathed Corvette. Remember high school? Mm. Now, imagine that scenario again, but this time you own a brand new Corvette. Werner Meyer, our second inductee, lived that experience. For him, that exhilaration became a lifetime pursuit. Werner has been a Corvette person from day one. Uh, he, in fact, when he first came to work for General Motors, his daily driver was a Corvette. Werner went to work for GM when he was just 18. As I look back, uh, I have to say that uh, he was a, a, a probably a frustrated Corvette enthusiast through all of that time, because he truly is a Corvette enthusiast. But if there was any frustration, it was short-lived, for Werner found a way to work on Corvettes during his free time. He was one of the first people, in fact, in the C2 cars and C3 cars, they had a lot of problem with the brake failure, rusting out of the thing. So he invented a solution to that. So early on, he and his dad were selling uh, these units to save the brakes on those cars. So he's been involved doing that kind of thing for decades. He started uh, his own masterworks where he does restoration, primarily Corvettes, but other, a lot of other cars. And when he does a car, it's, it's back to literally its original situation. And so he has rescued a lot of cars that collectors have had and made them show perfect for purposes. I was really, really impressed with the quality of the work he did. He just does an outstanding job in his workmanship. He's, a, I guess, a real craftsman, is what you'd say. Nowadays, uh, finding real craftsmen is not so easy. His restorations are perfect. You know, the cut lines are not wiggly. There's the, the gaps are all uniform. I mean, he really does, uh, does an excellent job at the restoration of the cars. Any time you're as immersed in the car culture as Werner, you usually develop two things, your own collection and a personal network. It's very nice to know that Werner was so well connected with some of the hierarchy within General Motors. When you take the time to speak to Werner, he can go on and on about stories and the different players in Corvette history and also in General Motors history as well. The other thing is that he has been in some ways lucky enough but also smart enough He's really collected some very unique show cars and, and design staff cars. And, and he's either collected them himself or he's been able to arrange for other people who are collectors to have these cars. But once again, when you talk about growing people into the hobby, he never misses an opportunity to get someone involved. If you are new to the automobile hobby and Werner would see you at a car show, he will begin to talk to you to find out what your interest is. So, we have the engineering knowledge, the perfect restorations, the Corvette network, but what is it that pushes Werner over the threshold into the Hall of Fame? There are a lot of people who are enthusiast, enthusiastic. There are a lot of people who are passionate. You need to be, I think, a cut above all of that. Uh, your, en your enthusiasm has, begins to encompass your whole life. If your enthusiasm leads to a lifestyle, that level is what gets you up to that wall. It's, it's a dedication to the car, the people that are associated with the car, the lifestyle, and the passion, and the glow in the eye, and the smile that comes on your face when somebody says Corvette. Werner's a driver. He restores these cars to, to a high level, but Werner will drive his cars, and that's another thing that really impresses me about him. He loves the cars, and it's part of his life, but he kind of loves the Corvette people better, and he, you know, he, he's always reaching out to Corvette people and, and in terms of being social with them, helping them out with problems. He said, okay, I just got off the phone with Werner Meyer. And uh, he said, he's expecting you to bring your car over there. He's got a couple of other caravan cars in there that he's working on now. So when I pulled up, uh, his mechanic came out and said, 
hmm, you've got a drop valve. So Warner said, well, we can get this fixed pretty good. But he said, the, the bad news is I can't get it fixed in time for you to finish the Motorama. He said, the good news is I happen to have a 1967 big block Sunfire Yellow coupe that you can finish it in. It's not a convertible like yours, but it's the same color, and it's a big block. And I said, are you kidding me? At 9 o'clock, we went over and picked the car up. It was sitting outside. Warner had that car ready. It was just absolutely gorgeous. We represented the 67 model year with Warner's car. Thank goodness we got to do that because it was such a, a terrific feeling to do that. It's always a comfort to have him on the road tour because uh, our philosophy on road tours is we bring him back alive. We leave nobody beside the road. When I, when I look at the, the Hall of Fame and I think about what the people that are represented in the Hall of Fame have done, I think Werner Meyer deserves to be there because he has such a passion for the hobby and the way that he helps individuals out. Uh, the fact that he's going in with Will Cooksey, Johnny O'Connell, people like that, it speaks to the caliber of the individual that he is. If you get to know Werner Meyer, you will understand that he is a guy that will do whatever he can to help you out. And as an enthusiast, I think that's what it's all about. He has preserved a lot of very unique Corvette history. And if he hadn't preserved it himself in terms of ownership, he's done it for other people who own the cars. So he's, he's got some very special cars in terms of the life of Corvette that, that were sort of benchmarks of, of highlights of the car. It's one of the most knowledgeable people I have ever seen on Corvettes, uh, especially when it comes to engines or anything like that. And he just, and he has documentation on such unique models of Corvettes. He's got, he's got this, this kind of information that a lot of folks just dream about. He is a true enthusiast and he is a true gentleman and he will help anybody as we say down south, he would give you the shirt off of his back to help you, if it would help you. He's that kind of gentleman, and, and, and I'm, I'm proud to call him a friend. Our second inductee into the National Corvette Museum Hall of Fame for 2013, Werner Meyer.